Hi everyone and welcome to Hawaiian Design. My name is Kimberly and I'm your instructor for today. So starting off with what we have in front of us, we have an 11 by 14 size canvas, long ways. Uh, we have a fan or if you have an outlet nearby, you have a hair dryer or something to dry your piece with. We are gonna be painting in layers, so we have to make sure that our first layer is dry before we move on to our second layer, okay? Then we have a pencil and an eraser. We're gonna be using this uh, just to start off with right now to kind of give us a heads up as to where to color. Uh, next, you have your brushes. We have a large background brush, medium square brush, a round tip brush that comes to a point, and a detail brush, a small pointy brush, okay? Next, make sure you have your water. Mine's a little dirty, I was painting with it earlier, so make sure you have your water there. And then make sure you have a towel, okay? So, so you can dry off your brushes. Next, the colors we're gonna be using for today's class are going to be as follows. Blue, white, red, yellow, purple, and black. Okay, so these are the colors we're gonna be using today. However, like I mentioned before, we're not starting off with our colors, we're starting off with our drawings. So if you can come in and pick up your pencil, we're gonna start off now. Let's add some lead to that and have a lead pencil with a really thick lead. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna start off nice and simple. Right in the middle of our canvas, we're gonna cut our canvas in half. And then that top half, we're gonna cut in half once more. Okay, so the top half, we're gonna cut in half. And up here, we're gonna do a small little lump coming down. Okay, you see that? From here, you're gonna come in and you're gonna make a line curving up. That line's gonna go out a little bit, kind of making a little point there, a round point. And then it's gonna come out and curve in. See, this is more rounded, and this one's a little bit smaller, and then there's a line that separates it here. We're gonna go on the opposite side. We're gonna go across, right on the opposite side. Same thing here. And we're gonna Curve that one up too. This one's a little bit more pointy. See, it's a little bit more of a triangle. And we're curving it down, doing that ear. Again, we are gonna be painting over this, so this isn't that important. Um, we're gonna come down, and we're just gonna start to make this design all the way down make some small ones, some big ones, almost like a Christmas tree. You see that? There we go, we're coming down. All right, and this is all we need to do for now. Next, we are picking up our paint now. Okay, so starting off, as a reminder, our paint is very sticky. Okay, look at that. So we wanna make sure we can add some water to that, make it a little soft. If it gets too runny and out of control, pick up a little bit more paint to make it thicker, okay? You wanna make sure you really blend that water in. Um, if not, it's gonna get all watery and see-through and it's gonna make a mess. If you think it's too sticky, um, add a little bit more water. It needs to be a little softer. You don't want it to be sticky either, okay? So we're gonna start off with our background brush and we're gonna be mixing a little bit of blue with white. If you wanna add just a little bit of yellow to that, you'll get a little bit of an aqua green color. It'll look really pretty, see that? If you add just a little drop of yellow, not a lot, you get a really pretty kind of like a aqua green there. So we're gonna start painting around the llama outline. We're gonna come in in between the little hairs and we're gonna start to paint doing these little X designs all the way around. If you wanna make it soft, 
you can go in and make them soft. They don't have to be rough like I did. Okay, I do encourage you guys to get creative. I'm using that blue, picking up a little bit of white, and I'm mixing in some white in there too so you can see both colors. See that? How we're starting to see both colors come out. We're starting to see that light blue. We're starting to see that darker blue. We're starting to see that variety there. Okay, so um, I am encouraging you guys to I'm encouraging you guys to get a creative, to not just follow along with me. If you want to add something different to your llama, this is your painting. This is supposed to be a fun class, um, and I'm teaching you how to do the llama like mine. But what I'm saying is, don't be so hard on yourselves. Everybody has their own style, and your style is not like mine. Your style is unique and different and awesome because it's your personal style. It's not like anybody else's. So feel free to do it your own way. There's no judgment here. This is a judgment-free zone. You guys are just free to chill in your own areas, at your home, all comfortable, and just do whatever you want with this super fun llama painting. Okay, that it's going to be hanging in your wall, so make sure that you're happy with it. <clears throat> I always take these pictures and I, um, I, this is the first time that I've ever painted this one before. So every time I paint in a class, it's the first time. And I'm painting it along with you guys. So I'm showing you that there's not a problem if you make mistakes or if you're not happy with it. You can always fix it. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> there's nothing that you can't fix when you're painting. It's all just about relaxing. That's what, what the experience is supposed to be about. Relax. You know, if you feel like something comes into your mind, exercise that thought by putting it on the canvas. Like, hmm, what if I add this to it? Or what if I add that? Don't stop yourself from being creative. There is nothing wrong with those thoughts of wanting to add something. And, oh, what if it doesn't look good? What if it, don't worry about it. Like, what if it does look good? Like, who says what looks good and what doesn't? You do, you know? So let yourself be creative. Let yourself just kind of flow with your painting and allow yourself to believe in yourself and be like, you know what, man, I got some style, you know, I like the way that I use my brush or whatever, you know, <clears throat> but yeah. All right. So we're going to go around painting our llama. If you want to go in and maybe add a little bit more blue to the sides, you can make it a little darker. Again, this is your painting. So feel free to, to get creative with the way that the colors look. See, I'm adding a little bit more blue up here. I'm coming in. If you want to make it a little bit darker in the edges, you can come in with a little bit of a darker blue. And look at that. You start to create a darkness shadow around there, a little dark halo around the llama, if you want. You could even add a little bit of more white around the llama, make it a little bit lighter there if you want. See that? So play with it. I'm going to give All right, guys, so moving on, we're gonna start off with our round tip brush. And we're gonna pick up a little bit of that water and I'm gonna come in and start to use a corner of my white. I'm gonna begin to outline my llama a little bit. So I'm gonna start off with the ear, making sure that my water is very well mixed into my white. And I'm gonna begin to outline the ear of our llama. We might have to add a couple of coats. Make sure that your paint is not too see-through. If it, it has too much water, it might be a little bit too see-through and you might have to wait till it dries so you could go in and add a second coat to that. 
okay? Or you can come in with some thicker paint and just apply a little bit of that thicker paint. And when it dries, again, add another second coat. There you go. Some better coverage right there. Awesome. Same thing on the other side. Coming in with some of that white. Okay, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna start to paint our head, make sure that we straighten it out. If you don't like the way it looks, you can make it a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. And we're gonna start to draw in our llama. Remember, if you wanna make him a little bit thicker, you can just pull the brush strokes out and we're gonna start to draw the fur little by little there's a little bit of fur i'm gonna draw a little bit more i'm gonna make him a little bit thicker once he starts to dry i'm gonna come in and apply a second coat over the top that needs to have a little bit more paint on it okay just to go over the blues Okay. So from here, we are going to let this dry. Meanwhile, we're letting it dry. We're going to be using our round tip brush once more. And again, we're letting it dry. And we are going to come in with this brush. And we are going to outline a little bit of pink. So we're grabbing our round tip picking up some of this red and we're adding it to our white, okay? Make sure that it's a lot of red. We want it to be a very dark pink. See that? You can even add a little bit of blue if you want to. There we go, very dark pink. Add more red to that, there we go. So from here, we're gonna make a line right in the middle, underneath the ears. We're gonna go a little bit lower. And we're gonna make a line. Make sure that it's nice and thick also. Okay, so we're making that line. From here, we're gonna go out to the sides and we're gonna make some sunglasses. We're going down, curving, going down, starting to curve back up again. And we're coming to a point. We're going to repeat this on the left side as well.
Again, you can also get creative with these. If you want to go in and add another color, if you want to make them blue, if you want to add some shapes to them, if you want to make them different colors, you don't just want to make them pink. If you want to add another color in there, you can go ahead and do that. Also get creative with these as well. Okay. Okay, again, you can go in with a little bit of a darker color. Oh, it helps out if you want to add some shadows in certain sections. So as we continue to wait for that to dry, we are also going to come in with some of this pink that we've made over here. And we're going to start to play with it on the edges. So you're just going to grab it, dab and pull. So again, you're making some more of that color of that pink that we were using. You're just going to grab it and pull. And we're going different directions. And you're going to do this with different colors. If you want to do it with only one color, you can. If you want to do it with only another one, you can. If you want to do it with only blue, only red, only pink. If you want to do it with pink and green, whatever colors you guys want to use. Feel free to go ahead and just play with that. I'm going to go in and grab some other colors. I'm going to make a lime green. I'm going to be using green, which is blue and yellow. And I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to it to make it a lime green. Okay, so it's going to be blue and yellow with a lot of yellow. And that's going to be my other color you're going to see me add on here. So I added a little bit of yellow, some blue, some pink, some red. We're waiting for our llama to finish drawing. If you want to go in and just add a little bit of more white to that, you can just to make it stand out a little bit. You can go back over the hair a little bit. I'm adding a little bit of pink and white, spreading it on the little llama hairs. It's almost done drying. We are going to come in and add our birthday hat on top. So the birthday hat can be any color you want. I happen to be using some purple on mine. So I'm grabbing my purple. And I'm going to come in and on the head, I'm making a upside down little arch. You see that? So I'm making an upside down little arch coming up towards the top. And I'm making a little triangle tip there. So we're making a cone, an upside down cone. See, we're giving him a little party hat. And you can paint the hat whatever color you want to. If you don't want to use purple, if you want to use another color. Okay, if you want to grab in a little bit of that pink and some white, so we can make a highlight down the right hand side. You can add a little highlight there. Right on the corner on the right. And you can kind of curve it a little bit too. That way we start to get some curves. Next, you're going to grab some white with that same round tip brush. And we're going to start to dab it towards the top.
And you can grab other colors if you want to up there too. If you want to grab maybe a little bit more yellow with white, you can grab some yellow with white. Change the color up there, making it nice and fluffy. All right, added a little bit of the yellow and the white on the ears. Again, not necessary, but if you want to, you can. Okay, so next we are gonna come in with a little bit of that yellow, we're putting it in the middle. Coming in with a little bit of white. And we're gonna add just a tiny drop of red. Okay, so we're trying to get kind of like a tan color. So I'm adding yellow again and see how we're starting to get a kind of like an orange there. I'm coming in with a little bit of white. See, and I'm starting to make it more of like a tan color. See that? So it's yellow with a little bit of red and then add white. And we're gonna start to have this tan color in the middle. And we are going to apply a long oval right in the center. Okay. Now we're coming in on the sides and we're going to add a little bit of an arch there. See? And we're going to do the same thing on the right. Again, we're coming in and we're doing two circles on the sides here. We're allowing it to come out. We're gonna make the bottom just a little bit bigger also. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white down to the bottom, a little bit of white up on the side and the top, just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, cool. Next, we're coming in with our round tip. And we're starting to add some water to our black. So we're coming in with this black, adding a little bit of water, making sure that it's nice and soft. And we're gonna start to fill in the inside of our shades. You can do them any other color. If you don't wanna fill them in black, you can fill them in another color if you'd like. All right, so moving on from here, we're going to move on with our uh, details on our hat. So we are going to be doing our white circles. I had brought that up before. We're going to come in, grab our round tip, grab our white. You can also use any other color. Again, it doesn't have to be white specifically. And we're going to go in and do a circle on the top. So there's one. We can do as many polka dots as you want to do. You can do them different sizes. Here's a big one. Here's another one on the edge. We have one towards the bottom. And there we go. So next,
So next we're going to be grabbing some white. We're going to be adding some highlights to the sides of our glasses. I also added a little eyebrow. Um, coming into the inside of our glasses, we're going to be doing a line from the top right towards the bottom of our bottom left. And we're going to repeat this with both glasses. Then we're going to go around, add a little bit of a highlight below on the bottom left corner and on top. Okay, this is going to be the glare effect. We're also going to add some highlights to some other sections around our canvas real quick. I'm also adding a little bit of a highlight on the lower lip and on the side. and one bright line right across the top there. So I had a little bit of a funky eyebrow on mine. All right, so from here, the last thing that you have left to do is to come in with your detail brush, pick up a little bit of that bright color. You can pick up some white, and on the right-hand side, just come in and do your signature. And after this, you are done. Yay.